The Aspen Institute Germany embodies like no other institution transatlantic relations, our common values and America's commitment to Germany and Berlin. It's been 40 years since Aspen Germany has been a partner of Aspen U.S. And during those 40 years we've worked together just as the United States and Germany has worked together. Formed at the height of the Cold War in 1974 by Marion Countess Dönhoff, Richard von Weizsäcker, Richard Löwenthal and Shepard Stone, the first American director of the Aspen Institute Berlin. Under his charismatic leadership, the Institute developed into an indispensable platform for German-American relations and the opening of an East-West dialogue. In a time when the wall was still up and Berlin still a divided city, the Aspen Institute became the place to present, debate and intellectually challenge German and American politics. Politicians like Egon Barr, Helmut Schmidt and Henry Kissinger, young leaders from the US and Germany, as well as all Berlin mayors from the 70s until today, used this platform to engage in a transatlantic dialogue, which helped the US to understand and support German politics and also helped especially young Germans to better understand their partner and friend across the Atlantic. Under all its directors, security issues and geostrategic topics played a major role. Aspen seminars visited Russia. German young leaders went to Washington. And Schwanenwerder, the Aspen headquarter at the Wannsee, became home for countless transatlantic and east-west seminars. It is the atmosphere of trust, confidentiality and bipartisanship which became the hallmark of the Aspen Institute throughout its 40 years. It helped to start a high-level dialogue program with the Balkan states to support them on their way to integrate into the EU and NATO, to organize academic seminars with top speakers and participants, to continue offering philosophical seminars about leadership values which are so important to understand our world of today and ourselves. The mission of Aspen hasn't changed, neither have our close ties to America and Aspen US. Aspen Germany and the Aspen United States have not only been great leadership institutes, but they've been leadership institutes based on values. That's why we were both founded and that's why we were worked together for so long. It were these values which helped making Aspen a unique institution. Over 40 years it has attracted thousands of important people and VIPs amongst its guests and seminar participants, heads of state, ministers, ambassadors, generals, journalists, bankers and yes, Angela Merkel who very early on underlined her firm belief in the importance of good transatlantic relations. Ich glaube, dass nicht nur Europa auf Amerika angewiesen ist, sondern auch Amerika auf Europa und das ist ja kein Unilateralismus. All Aspen participants are united by one commonality. They became and still are friends of Aspen. Aspen Germany's history has so far been shaped by all its former directors, by David Anderson, Catherine McArdle Kelleher, Jeffrey Gadmin, Charles King Mallory, and first and foremost by its founder Shep Stone, the man famous for his signature cap, a trophy which still exists. The cap and the leadership have changed. But the great heritage and our commitment to a value-based society will stay on. This salute to Aspen by our seminar alumni is proof of our continuing mission. <laughs>